You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, man? You must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're irresponsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, yo. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. Don't waste your time no more. Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove. I'm gonna make my move. I'm gonna make it soon. And I'll do it because it's what I wanna fucking do. Because all these opinions and all these positions, they come in in millions. They block in your vision. But no, you can't listen. That shit is all fiction because you hold the power as long as you're driven. champion making his way to the ring right now and he has not really had to worry about putting his title on the line right now as from what we can tell no one has really stepped up to the plate and he won that title at blood for blood rightfully so earning it right now this is a non-title match but you gotta wonder who could possibly be up to the challenge for this man right here. That being said, as I said before, unfortunately, Austin Gamer will not be with us here this evening. He has important needs to attend to. But with that being said, the show must go on and it will go on. Chaos Theory. The theme is Fight by Marilyn Manson, as we just found out. Bell rings, and here we go. Underway in a big clothesline by Yosef Zachary. Shots to the head. Taking it right to Adam Williams right now. Kick to the side. A very aggressive champion is Yosef Zachary, but Adam Williams with a great counter. And kick to the back. Send him up. Boom. Driving his arm in. And Adam Williams. Down with a 
short and tackle, of course. Joseph Zachary trying to fight back. There's a jawbreaker first trouble, and an into Gary and doesn't even knock the man off his feet. Amazing agility by Adam Williams right there. Wait, he's not done. Oh my god! Executed beautifully by, by Mr. Amnesia himself. And right now, I don't know exactly what Joseph Zachary was planning right there, but be that as it may, this match is continuing. Adam Williams setting up. Something big here. Oh my god, beautiful neck breaker from an elevated position. Kick to the leg. Now, Williams coming in. Another springboard back elbow. And again, we're going to see the 450 from the bottom row. Big shoulder takedown by Yosef Zachary. And again, rinse and repeat. Oh, he's going to go for that. That caught with the kick, but doesn't get out of the way. Ooh. Big Santon splash. Folks, we have a great main event coming up. The champion will be in action. Shockingly enough, he will be going in a tag team match with the Savage. chance to go for it, but neither it seems. Oh no. That's what he was looking for. He's locking it in. No, he's not done. Setting up the figure eight. Will the champion tap? Is he? And uh, no. Big right hand. Yes, Zachary got out of that. Thankfully, he did. Oh, rainbow cutter by Adam Williams. Will that be enough? One, two. Champion kicks out yet again. Oh. Oh. Disrespect by the chip. Well. I'd say the champion, but not anymore. As we're seeing, he set it up. Some up. I'm going to call the Simone Spike. Excuse me, Amnesia Spike. I'm a little rusty. One, two. It's been a long time since I've done this. Big Frankensteiner by Adam Williams. And Moses Zachary. Is in trouble right now as he's getting set in the armbar. Will that be enough? Yes, exactly. Getting out of it. He's not been able to put away the monster. Has Adam Williams. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my God! A buckle bomb. Top, it seems. Big. Oh! 
overshot it. That, well, one. Yeah, I don't think that was gonna work. Champion definitely overshot that headbutt. Maybe that's a way for him to get back into it. I, I don't know. Big elbows to the midsection. And, oh! Close line. Now we got a little battle on the outside of the ring. That didn't last long. This is Zachary back in it. Uh. Oh no. Caught in the amnesia spike again. No. Reversed into a lung blower. Knees to the back. And Adam Williams might be setting up. He's fired up. Momentum shifting right now. Running. Big splash into the corner. Ducks under. Leaps into a clothesline. He is on fire right now. And the champion might be going for the ride. Little amnesia drop. No. Champion gets out of it. Oh, his right hands. Vicious haymakers right there. Big power slam. Chop after chop after chop. Oh, that's going. Jab to the throat. That might be it. One, two, three. And just like that, folks, it is all over. match by both these competitors. At the end of it all, the champion got the win. And amnesia spike. Thought he was going to go for it again earlier, but certainly was wrong on that one. Oh, that right there. Yeah, I can tell that one really racked his brains a little bit. Here is your winner, Headhunter, Yosef Zachary. The man is still dominant. Folks, we got more in store. Don't go away. We are back live, and folks, this has just gotten better over time. We have the YouTube champion making his way to the ring right now. And we gotta give credit where credit is due. Making his way to the ring from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 235 pounds, the Floral Television Champion, the Brawler, Colin Connor. Gotta give credit where it's due. The man actually defended his title in Mexico over at the Madhouse. And right now, He's standing tall. We heard that oh, Callaway North was not pleased with losing in such quick fashion. So I guess we're about to get round two. Maybe Callaway North might be able to pull this one off.
find out. Nonetheless, all oh, the music playing in the background. You know what that means. is absolutely phenomenal, monumental to see right here. We've had the opportunity, me and Austin Gamer both, have had the opportunity to talk to this man. And he's quite a specimen to say the least. And his opponent, from Chelsea, England, weighing in at 263 pounds, North. Alloway North, making his way to the ring right now. Stings a little bit, I, I know. It's gotta sting a little bit when it comes to losing to someone with the caliber of well, our brother, Collins Honors, the YouTube champion. Really looking forward to seeing if these two will do battle in Chaos Theory, what is going to take place. Only time will tell. Going into the ring right now. To be honest, they can take it into the backstage area if they wanted to. The YouTube title will be on the line at Chaos Theory. But right now, I guess we're going no holds barred in this one. And here we go. Bell rings and big clothesline by the champion. Kick to the back. No effect on Callaway. North! This is going to be hard hitting. No matter where you look at it. Big clothesline by Callaway North. Both men very dedicated to the craft. And brawler, Colin Connors, with a huge counter. Should have been champion. And he may have that chance, one last chance at Chaos Theory. Maybe he has an ideal match concept that might come into play. Who knows? Oh! Well, that right there is what you get when you try to gloat. Oh my god! Right to the mouth with that huge European uppercut. Oh, big first with the chair. And that's that's perfectly legal. No holds barred in the YouTube title. Now we're getting a little bit of a demonstration. And man, these two right here will be facing each other in Australia at Chaos Theory. All right, time will tell if Callaway North can get the job done. Getting a win over the champion here tonight would definitely set the bar. And locking in a Cloverleaf. Kneeling into the back. A lot of people have tapped out to a situation like that, but Colin Connors up on his feet. Big rolling neck breaker. Tremendous move that was. Only getting a one count though for his efforts. And now about to spike him head first. Now, locking in some sort of submission, an all bar and a leg bar, would not be good for Callaway North, but he gets out of it. 
big clothesline. And a knee to the back of the head. Anacarnas loves to fight. And so does Callaway North. The club to the back of the head. And these guys, I dare say, are evenly matched. Callaway North took a loss. And he hasn't forgot about it. against the ropes. Uh-oh. Oh, oh boy. What's he about to do? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pile driver out to the floor. That's got to be certainly effective to the champion right there. Driving him headfirst into the into the arena floor. There's very, very little bit of padding right there. His right hand. Halloween North with a chop. And he's really got the champion staggered now after that pile driver. It's certainly vicious to see. And the champion is not looking good right now. Trying to get some sort of fight back, but you gotta imagine that he's been suffering right now. He got dropped. Boom! He got dropped head first from the ring apron to the arena floor. So that cannot be good for the champion. And now going in to grab a weapon. And rightfully so. Going for a ladder, it seems. Oh! Dropping a ladder on him and stomping it right into the stomach. That was actually innovative. And not, oh! Dragon suplex. I think that had a little bit of contact with that ladder. And Connors really hurt right now. Trying to get some sort of momentum. Oh my god! Laid out right on top of that ladder. And top of the morning to you on the arena floor. He's got to get him in the ring, though. Callaway North. Setting the toll right now. And, and, and our champion... Viciously getting assaulted by Callaway North. Now this right here is the fight we were expecting the last time these two had an encounter. But right now we're seeing it all take place. You gotta wonder though if that, that pile driver may have caused a little bit of suffering. Oh no! Caught with a forearm. And this might be it. Dropped him down. And Callaway North setting it up. Because he got it. And uh, boom! Face first. And that might be enough. Hook in the leg. One, two, three. Well, it wasn't for the title, but it certainly was effective. And these two will have a rubber match. I mean, it's one to one. And it 
Chaos Theory, these two are going to go head to head and bring everything out that they can for the YouTube Championship. We are back live and we have a tremendous match coming up real soon. It is gonna be the women's champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from New Orleans, Louisiana, the All-Star Women's Champion, Jackie Tyson. As I was saying, the women's champion Jackie Tyson making her way to the ring right now, and she's got a tough obstacle to overcome at this very moment. We have two other women that will be facing her, and this is going to be very interesting from what I've heard. Cole Quinn has definitely set up a zinger for the women's champion, and rightfully so because she needs to be ready and prepared for anything at Chaos Theory. arena and the last time we saw her she has departed from her tag team partner courtesy of Anna and now seeing for the first time singles competition we haven't seen this in quite some time in fact we haven't seen her in singles action since well the beginning of this whole broadcast I mean it was many years ago when we first started at the Madhouse that we may have seen her in singles competition maybe one time. And now, making her way into the ring, looking for full intent to send a message clear to the women's champion. Oh. And from Shreveport, Louisiana, D. D. Rose. The young daughter of Sally Stargazer has returned. And she's got quite a new look, it seems. If anyone knows how to be a champion, she's learned from the best one of the best women's champions here at the Madhouse. Haven't seen Sally Stargaz, but maybe she'll make her return, hopefully soon. And with that being said, this might be a, a huge obstacle, a huge opportunity for this young woman. Very unorthodox style by Dee Dee Rose. She's definitely had a change of heart, it seems. The bell rings and here we go. Chance not taking this seriously right now as Jackie Tyson is getting the fight taken to her by Dee Dee Rose. And now Chance into the fold. Big right hand coming up. 
Ooh, big form right to the face and a single leg drop kick takedown by Chance. And here we go. DD Rose with a snap suplex and a kick to the back. This is what we like to see right here. Ooh, forearms right to the back of the head. And setting up. Ooh. Folks, I do apologize for my technical difficulties prior to this episode here at All Stars. I promise things will get a lot better as we progress. The Madhouse will be returning in the beginning of next week. Starting, I believe, I believe it's going to be April 5th or 4th. Not really sure on that matter, but we are returning and it's been a long waited. I know we've had a little bit of a setback. We do apologize due, the, due to the inconvenience, but we are back. Madhouse and All-Stars. Oh my God, Chance with a big spinning wheel kick off the top rope. DD Rose coming in, coming in strong. And no, release German suplex by Kent by the Queen Chance. And Jackie Tyson suplexed by her, by the champion. Chance went for the single leg drop kick, the champ got out of the way. Very smart strategy by this young woman. Very strong, very agile is Jackie Tyson. The Dina, Dina Rose and Chance are no stranger to championship gold. Dina, oh, drop arm into the mat. That, that's definitely not going to be it right there. We've seen what D.D. Rose is capable of. Not enough to get a win just yet, but you never know. Oh, dropping it right there. And a takedown by chance. Up for the cover. One. Chance was trying to go for the cover, but not enough to get the job done, it seems. And right now, D.D. Rose throws into the corner. Might see a turn of events take place right now. Oh, no. Chance gets out of it in a hurry. And a big fireman's carry. Drops her. And now Chance with a headlock on the champion. Stopping the momentum. Nail in the coffin by chance. And going for that executing knee. Who's she gonna get? Oh, right to the champion. Under the cover one. Damn, breaking it up. I don't know how smart that was to sit there and try to make that scream, but it has a made. Chance going up top. Drop from the heavens. And Jackie Tyson back up. Ooh! Sidewalk slam. Now DD Rose. Might be coming in. No! She got she ate all the T-bone suplex. No prime rib. Dina giving the fight back as she always has. Oh, she was going for the running drop kick, but Tyson out of the way. Throws her in the corner. Drop kick. Dina coming in. Another drop kick to the champion. Indeed, he could have lost this match right here just by standing there. She's just taking her time. Waiting for the right time, the right spot. Oh, this might be it. Ooh, who's 
Hiroshi Hiroshi by chance. Dede Rose, big uppercut. European uppercut and a slap to the face. Ultimate disrespect by the princess. Ooh! Backbreaker. Not looking good for Dede right now. Jackie Tyson is down at ringside. And breaking up the pin right now. She is preparing herself for anything. Sit out powerbomb by the Queen Chance. And she might be ready to take another knee to the Queen. Oh no, she missed. She missed her target. She pumped the brakes on her. Clotheslines Dina outside the ring. And the champion might be down at this point. Look in the leg. One, two. Jackie Tyson kicking out yet again. Folks, we got more in store coming up. We got a tag team match with a new debut as well as a main event tag team match between two rivalries. The Savage will team up with the world champion Savage, uh, Shannon Nitro. We're on the other side of the fence will be the Butcher, Billy Graves, and the Punisher, Alfonso. As we're going to see, here we go. Boom! Big belly to back suplex by D.D. Rose. One, two. The champion has almost been beaten by either one of these women. Chance might have led up to a little bit of a distraction. Uh-oh. Regal suplex. Hook in the legs. One, two. Still fighting in it. Going for the low drop kick, but missed. Chance is very fast, very quick, very agile. Front suplex, and now Dina might be out of it right now. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. That's got to be it. Perfect time from the champ. One, two. Chance able to kick out yet again. Man, this has been one hell of a match. This might do it. Setting him up for the Hurricane Run, a hook in the legs. One, two. What the? Was it? I don't know if that was three or not, but. Jackie Tyson almost had this match won. Chances back up. And she eats a close on it. Another one. Single leg drop kick. And the champion might have this in the bag right now. Hook in the leg. One, two. The Rose kicking out yet again. Uh oh. There's that style. Might be on the position of tapping out, but no. DD getting out of it in a hurry. Thrown over the top goes the champ. And Chance just gets out of the ring and um, completely avoids Dina. Oh! 
Well, that's what you get. Taking her a little too lightly. Dropping him with that power bomb. One, two. Tina almost had it one. Almost had it one. Dropping her head first into the ring mat. And the champion taking a moment to go. I don't know how smart that is. Well, there goes Chance. And now it's just Dina and Jackie Tyson. Amazing agility by the champion right there. Will that be enough? One, two. Dina still with the fight. Still with the momentum to get out of that. But this might be it right here. Send up. Frankensteiner hooking the legs. One, two. How is she doing it? How are they still going on? Set out powerbomb. Chance got it. One, two. Uh-oh. Might be time. Executed with the knee. That has got to be it. And the champ still able to fight back through all of this. And I think Dina just took out both of them. Champion up top. Going for a high risk maneuver. Went for the drop kick. And Dina stepped right out of the way. Big right hands. Throwing the champion like garbage. Man, this match has got to end at some point. It's amazing that this match is taking this long to go on right now. And Dina might have it. Might be wrapping it up right now. Where is she going? She needs to focus it. Watch out! Caution to the wind by Dina taking out the champion one more time. Oh, big slap. And look at the combinations. to the midsection and the champion there it is right there she's back up there's nothing stopping chance at this point she is dominating both champion and Dina as we speak oh went for that thrust kick and Jackie Tyson with a knee of her own Throwing her into the ring. This might be it. The fans getting coming alive with the champion. Hooking the leg. And Dina breaking it up in a hurry. Uh-oh. Ten up. Oh, Shigaroshi, no. The champion's up! Just like that, she just sprang up and now locking in the arm bar. Dina might tap out. Dina throwing her into the corner. These women have been going non stop. And what is Dina about to do? Oh no. No, no way. Baseball side drop kick, taking the champion out. And now it's just Chance and Dina. Going into the turnbuckle. And no. 
Edwards is more experienced. Obviously. Setting up for the second time. No, no! Dina! With a big counter! Referee going to cover one! Was not expecting that right there, that turn of events. You cannot count Dina out. It's a shame this isn't for the title, but whoever wins is more than likely going to be guaranteed a title shot at Chaos Theory if they can get the job done. Boot right to the face. And this has been going non-stop, my God. Out of Chaos Theory, one of these women will be seeing the women's champion very, very soon. Just don't know when. Oh, locking in that Dragon Sleeper. That might be it. And Dina gets out of it again. Both women taking Dina for a ride. An amazing agility by chance right there. How much more do these women have in their capabilities? This mu I might have answered the question right there. Rainmaker clothesline. Dina is out. It's got to be over. One, two. What the hell? The fight in Dina is unbelievable. Hooking the legs, one, two. And Chance breaks it up yet again. Oh, big Hurricane Rana by the champion. Now both are down. Locking in another arm bar. And again, Chance. Getting out of it. We're going into almost 20 minutes. Oh. Nick was trying to get up. Using the ropes for leverage to get back on her feet. But the champion... What was Dana waiting on? He is just standing there. Uh oh. Locking the legs again. One, two. How is this still going on? Dina giving the fight that we have not known for a very long time. Big suplex into the ring. Will that be enough? One, two, three. still able to kick out. Champion getting a little uh, restless, it seems. And there goes Chance once again. Oh no, Triangle Chokehold, that's gotta be it. How is she still doing this? Dina just will not stay down. Dina hanging on with everything she's got. Probably trying to prove something to her mother, Cy Stargazer. thought that was going to be it. I really thought that was going to be it. But Dina still not enough to put her away. But this might be enough to put Dina away. Going for that executing knee right to the face. Got it! The champ's up though. No 
nowhere for Dina to go. Nowhere to go. Big snap suplex. One, two. 20 minutes in this match and still nothing has been a possible scenario to get the job done. Dina trying to take credit. Kick to the gut. Oh, the champion was about to get one right to the face, but Dina kicked out and yet oh, he got countered, excuse me. And how much more can you handle with that arm bar? These women have been going non-stop. Standing front suplex. Oh, this might be the, the final blow. Ooh! Oh, and again! She hit it again, one, two, three. What a match between all three of these women with 20 minutes in counting. We certainly knew that this was gonna be one hell of a competition but did not expect the fight between all these women. Had this been Chaos Theory, Chance could have been the new women's champion right here and now. But they definitely put her in the hunt. Here is your winner, the Queen Champ. Folks, don't go away. We've got more in store coming very, very soon. We are back live, and folks, what an amazing triple threat match we just seen by three amazing women including the women's champion Jackie Tyson but coming up right now we have tag team action with the tag team champions And these two right here look tremendous. They won those titles, those very tag team titles against Watkin, the Watkin brothers, which the Watkins will get their title rematch at Chaos Theory in just a few weeks. Unfortunately, we've had to have our setback due to a little bit of uh, technical issues that was becoming a major distraction but we have got everything covered and ready to go here at the Madhouse. I hate to give this update through the show, but it is, I think it's very important to let my viewers know, to let our viewers know, we are back and we are ready to go. This is the team we were talking about earlier that was gonna make a debut. These two right here, getting an opportunity to take the fight right to the tag team champions. This is a very, 
very interesting time to get in the ring with two veterans, if you will, and Tommy Ace and Connor Green. And you know the challenges for the tag team titles are gonna definitely be watching this match very carefully and seeing what's gonna take place. What is it gonna take to get the job done between all these men? And you look at the size of these two right here. I mean, this is quite impressive. Massive amount of physique between both these men, obviously. From the Samoan heritage, and we know a little bit about Samoan when it comes down to Yosef Zachary and Wilt Zachary. But right now, Connor Green with a drop kick, and doesn't even drop the big man down. And again, three drop kicks, and it's not taking the chip. Oh my god. I think we might have bit off a little bit more we could chew because these two right here, that man just took three drop kicks and it still didn't take him down. It's got to be disconcerting to Connor Green, I would imagine. Not very many people are able to stand up from one drop kick, let alone three. And these two are are just debuting and they are just dominating the tag team champions as we speak oh throw him into the corner but no this man is massive and certainly Artie's making it uh, making it very obvious at this point they are not being taken lightly here we got, oh my god, rocket kick from an elevated position. And these two teams, are, these two newcomers are just brutalizing Carno Green. Now we know the kind of fight that Carno Green has, but I just don't know. Also, would like to mention one more time, we do have a main event coming up very, very soon. And it's gonna be Shannon Nitro and Isaiah the Savage versus The Punisher and The Butcher, Billy Graves. Big shoulder takedown by the champions. Sent up a little bit of a tag team strategy. Ooh! Double headbutt. And this is what they need to do. They need to get focused. They need to really prepare themselves because they're taking on a hell of a team right now. It's not even the Watkins brothers. He's brutalizing Tommy Ace. The champions have not had any breathing room by these men. Good God! Clothesline just damn near decapitated Tommy Ace. A float over DDT by Tommy Ace. That's probably about all he could muster right now. And uh, uh oh, here we go, Tommy Bow. And now maybe trying to set up for Ace in the hole. Here we go, send it up, a no. Oh, big float over Lariat. A man that size, being able to do that. Jeez. Oh, and it drops him with a big face buster. Of Front face DDT, if you will. And this man's going up top. Now what's he going for? Oh my god, double foot stomp. Also there's the coup de gras. 
Oh, and Tommy Ace took all that knee right to the face. And Tommy Ace may not be a good strategy right now. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to go for that pen and knees to the turnbuckle, but nothing... You can get nothing out of that. And Tommy Ace is trying to get something going here, but like the champions have been brutalized by the, the wild Samoans here. I don't know much about these guys, but they are certainly impressing me. I mean, they are just like obliterating the tag team champions. I mean, not for nothing. I think the order might have a run for their money. Big snap clothesline. A big uppercut. Connor Green throwing them kicks. Drop kick. Here we go. Connor Green now firing back up. And another drop kick. Discus knee. All he needs to get is that key lock and it might be over with. Well, you can't do nothing when you get a knee taken out like that. God. I mean, these two right here have been absolutely dominant. Oh, he went for the neck breaker but missed. Connor Green got out of the way, rightfully so. Tag team, here we go. Setting up for the hat trick, maybe. Going in. Executed beautifully. Tremendous move right there. But look at the size of that man. Ooh, knee to the back of the head. And Tommy Ace. Not done with the big man right there. Crushing the arm. And back and forth again. And uh, judo flip. And Tommy Ace rolling up the, the cover. One, two. Not enough yet. Big into Gary. Oh, that was very, very, very close. And right now, again, this has been one hell of an event so far here at All Stars, making our return back to YouTube, back into the action. I mean, Dee Dee Rose came within an eyelash away from winning a big triple threat match. At the end of it all, Chance was the one to detonate the kick and Green and Ace has done it once again. I don't know how they did it. These two have been just dominated through this entire match. But folks, at the end of it all, they got the job done. I, I'm going to have to see exactly how this was done, but... Here are your winners, Connor Green and Tommy, the chosen one, Ace. What a match, and congratulations to an amazing debut by the Wild Samoans.
The Butcher, Billy Gray. It is main event time, folks. And this man right here is a, has a very unlikely tag team partner. We are back here at All Stars. And it's been one hell of an evening right now. And this is about to unfold as we speak. Challenger and champion have an opportunity to get at one another. see it take place we've seen a lot of things happen in this short time and what a way this is going to be to end I mean the triple threat match was certainly impressive seeing the debut of the Wild Samoans was certainly impressive and now this is the main event about to see it all unfold Here it comes the Punisher, who has a score to settle with Isaiah. And his partner, from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 234 pounds, The Punisher. Folks, The Punisher made his debut not too long ago and lost to Isaiah. And it seems to be eating away at this man as he attacked Isaiah at the end of his match against David Douglas. And maybe it's time for Isaiah to get a little even with this man. We'll find out very, very soon. Oh man, this is going to be one hell of a main event right now. It's savage time. We're about to see it right now. And their opponents. First, from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in at 190 pounds, Isaiah the Savage Bailey. Isaiah the Savage making his way to the ring. And you know this man has intent on getting his revenge. As I said before, this man was attacked at the end of his match. An amazing match with David Douglas. Never actually seen these men in any tag team action, but we're about to see it right now. Both teams have a common goal. Mainly to try to get at one another. Or maybe soften up the other man's opponent. Chaos Theory is not too far away, folks. And here comes the champion. And this is going to be something truly, truly and his special. From Long Island, New York, weighing in at 175 pounds, the All Star Champion, Champion Shannon. 
Jen and Nitro unfortunately taking a loss to Billy Graves. And that cannot sit right for the champ, knowing that he could possibly lose his title at Chaos Theory. He needs to get a little bit of that pride back here in this match. We know what he can do as a solo artist, but what is he capable of in a tag team? We're about to find out. Both teams are ready. Billy Graves and Isaiah starting this match right now. Bell rings and it's underway. These two know each other very well. They've had a rivalry since Blood for Blood. Isaiah is not going to take this man lightly. Likewise with Billy Graves. Oh, look at the strength of this man. Oh my God. Military press into a spine buster by Billy Graves. Again, Isaiah cannot take this man lightly. He knows what he's in store for. He knows this match could go either way. Billy Graves is a very strong force. We saw it at Bluff of Blood. We saw it on his debut. Now Billy Graves manhandling. Isaiah, unfortunately, now throws him into the corner. Oh! Isaiah with a back elbow. And the champion is just waiting. As is the Punisher. They would love nothing more than to get their hands on their rivalry here and now. Billy Graves makes the first tag. A little bit of tag team effort right here. Big elbow to the back. And Isaiah was reaching for the tag, but not close enough. There's the tag. Shannon Nitro. Look at this. The strength and agility from this man. Hitting that sunset flip power bomb. And the Punisher, oh, big boot, right to the face. Now throwing in some strikes. And Billy Graves is loving all of this right now. Motioning to the crowd. Saying that is your champion right there. And he's getting his ass kicked. But Shannon Nitro is going to fight back with everything he's got. He is probably the littlest man on here. Isaiah may be just a slight bit bigger than this man. But never count the champion out as we've seen in the past. Oh! Big suplex. He won the title at Blood for Blood kickoff. And has not turned back yet. Big Frankensteiner. He's going to need all his speed in order to keep up with both, both these men right here. Taking a moment to breathe. Isaiah capitalizing. Knee to the back of the head. Holding down. The Punisher. And now drops him with the inverted DDT. And this is what Isaiah wanted. To get his hands on the Punisher after that jump, after that blindsided attack. Oh, throws him into the turnbuckle. And Punisher coming in. Isaiah throws him in the corner, tagging him in. Oh! Double fist to the head, and Billy Graves did not like any of that. 
Oh, sorry, with a pile driver. Scooped him up for a pile driver. That's usually a move that finishes it all right now. But tagging in, perhaps, yep, tagging in Billy Graves. He sees a down champion. He's going to take advantage of it. Shannon Nitro with the double head scissors. And springboard. Oh. A little too far with that one. Missed his target. Now Shannon Nitro being picked up. The massive amount of strength of this man. Pressing him over his head. And now Manhead on the champion. Getting every shot that he can. Look at the strength of this man. Deadlift. Powerbomb. This man is a, is a monster. Setting up for the Dominator. That might be it for the champion right now. Going for the cover. One, two, three. And there you have it. Isaiah tried to stop it, but it, it was already done for. Shannon Nitro hit with the Dominator. And just like that, it's over. This is what did it right here. Drives him in with the Dominator. And he hooks the leg. As you see right now, going for it. And great save by the Punisher. Here are your winners. The Punisher, Billy Gray. Well, that about does it for this one. This has been Unique Persona 13. That about does it for this one. Thank you and good night from All Stars.